Hey guys, it's Chris. From bizarre monuments found with the waters of the world to just how much we know about the ocean floor, here are eight deep sea anomalies that we're still trying to figure out. Number eight, the circular structure. In Israel, there's a famous body of water called the Sea of Galilee, which has played a big part in many stories in the Christian Bible. But in 2003, a sonar sweep of the area uncovered something scientists didn't expect. A circular structure about 30 feet beneath the surface of the water. A structure that was bigger than a 747 jet. Though it was found in 2003, it wasn't until a decade later that they talked about what they'd found and what it was like. We just bumped into it, recalls Shmuel Marco, a geophysicist from Tel Aviv University who worked on the project. Usually the bottom of the lake is quite smooth. We were surprised to find a large mound. Initially, we didn't realize the importance of this, but we consulted with a couple of archaeologists, and they said it looked like an unusually large Bronze Age statue. This statue, if it really is that, is comprised of basalt rocks, and its shape is actually that of a cone. Its exact measurements are 230 feet in diameter and 32 feet tall. Oh, and if you're wondering what it weighs, well, it's 60,000 tons. Because the object is so massive and it lives on the bottom part of the Sea of Galilee, it's incredibly hard to study it and try to get answers on what it is. They only have estimates as to its age, which they think is 2,000 to 12,000 years old, and there's no definitive clues as to what it actually is. It could have been a big ceremonial structure or a ramp. There could have once been statues on top of people in certain rituals. I mean, I'm really going wild here. The truth is, we don't know how it was constructed, what its age is, how it was used, how long ago it was used. We have several speculations, but we don't know much, except that it's there and it's huge. Number 7. Milky Sea Phenomenon Bioluminescence is a very real thing in the world, and it allows certain animals and plants to grow depending on certain circumstances and body types. And there are some areas of the world that have plants or algae that illuminate certain areas of water. However, well outside of these areas, sailors from many periods of time have noted that the oceans or seas that they've traveled on have glowed for unknown reasons, and never in the same spot. Or even stranger, it'd glow in the day or the night, which is in direct contrast to various areas that have bioluminescent plants or algae. In 2006, a satellite image of one of these milky areas was captured, and scientists determined that it wasn't plants or algae doing this, but actually a massive group of bacteria. But therein lies the question, why would bacteria come together in such mass that again can be seen from space and propagate in various parts of the ocean for days at a time? Some scientists think it's because they're trying to attract food or even fish, but that's not been proven. Nor does this answer explain why this phenomenon happens at all. Number 6. Lake Baikal Mystery In Siberia, there's a very unique body of water called Lake Baikal. It is the oldest, deepest, and largest freshwater lake on Earth, and it has a sediment deposit that's actually four miles deep. And due to its location in Siberia, it's a lake that is often frozen for much of the year, with its frozen surface sometimes lasting until June. Except in 2009, when satellite imagery showed two very perfect spheres in the different parts of the lake. Now, a hole in the lake isn't odd per se, but two and in different areas that have the very same shape? Well, that is indeed odd. And for a long time, there was no reason for why these circles existed in the lake. A theory later emerged that convection of some sort was causing the water to upwell in certain places, creating circles. But this has not been proven, and many still feel that the true origins of these circles has yet to be determined. Plus, if it was a heating convection of some kind, why only two circles? And why in opposite sections of the lake? And why are they so small in context? These mysteries have yet to be solved. Number 5. The Lives of Deep Sea Creatures Many marine biologists and other scientists have studied the ocean solely to learn more about the creatures that live in the waters of the world. 
But one of the hardest things to do is to learn more about the creatures that live well outside the range of our cameras, our technology, and our other scientific tools. As such, areas like the Mariana Trench, which is 36,000 feet below sea level, are virtually untouchable outside of very short periods of time with drones and specialized submersibles. Because of this inaccessibility, there are many sea creatures deep in the oceans and seas of the world that we know exist, but we honestly don't know much about. Take for example the giant squid. This creature is said to be the inspiration behind the legends of the Kraken, but that's unproven. Also, it wasn't caught on camera until 2004 and wasn't filmed until 2012. And though we've gotten more footage since then, many scientists are at a loss for how these creatures live and survive in the depths of the ocean. And because so few of them are seen, there's still a lot of speculation as to how large they can actually grow. And that's just one creature. There are tens of thousands more that scientists want to study, but they can't due to where they live. And thus, the lives, habits, skills, and more of these creatures remain a mystery. Number 4. Baltic Sea Anomaly the Baltic Sea Anomaly is one of the biggest mysteries and discoveries ever in regards to ocean and sea finds. It all started when some Swedish explorers were diving in the Baltic Sea and discovered a rock formation that they honestly couldn't describe at first. What they found was an object 60 meters wide, around 4 feet thick, and was shaped like a ship of unknown origin, and it's resting on a pillar about 8 feet tall. Many have tried to put a reasonable explanation for what this anomaly is, but no one has had luck getting a logical conclusion. One popular theory is that it's some kind of ship, and obviously not one of this world according to the theory, and those who believe in it point out there is apparently a runway next to the ship, as well as a staircase alongside a gap in the ship that's said to lead to its interior. But that's not the weirdest part of this anomaly. When some more divers arrived to try and scan the vessel to see what it was, their electrical equipment shorted out for some unknown reason. Speculation continues to run wild on what the Baltic Sea anomaly is. Especially since it actually looks like a piece of pop culture that many would be familiar with. If you were to look at the anomaly from above, you would see that it has a very similar shape to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. You know, the ship piloted by Han Solo among others. But whether this anomaly was from some ancient civilization on Earth or a remnant from a galaxy far, far away remains to be proven. Number 3. What Other Life Is In The Ocean? Just when you think that we've learned all we can about our world, something pops up to reveal that we didn't know everything. It's said that two-thirds of the life within the oceans are undiscovered, and given the great mass of water that's out there, it's pretty believable. For proof of this, look no further than the Mariana Trench. To this day, only three people have been down there, including legendary director James Cameron. And in total, these three people were down there for only a couple of hours. Granted, during these hours, they discovered a large variety of unknown creatures and plants, but imagine what someone could find if they had days to spend down there, not just hours. The other fact is that the ocean holds many secret areas that could hold even more unknown life. So until we're able to venture into them, the question of how much life is in the ocean will remain unanswered. Number 2. The Immortal Jellyfish There is a jellyfish out there that seems to have true immortality, as in the literal definition of living forever. The scientific name for this jellyfish, and wait for this mouthful, is Turdopsis dornii, and it has a very unique ability that allows it to be immortal mainly because it doesn't become mature. The immortal jellyfish, which is the official nickname for the creature, will age until it's an adult. Then it'll go and mate, and once mating is done, it'll actually revert back to its younger form, or its juvenile form. Since it's basically young again, it just starts the aging process over until it goes and mates, and then the jellyfish will revert back to its juvenile state, and the cycle repeats. And since the cycle can repeat, it's immortal. However, it can obviously die via injury or being killed by a predator. This very unique jellyfish wasn't discovered until the 1990s, and scientists are honestly not sure how the immortal jellyfish does this act. To literally reverse aging is something that no other creature that's been found can do, and thus research is being done to see what exactly can be learned from this creature. And if the secret can be found, it could lead to some radical new medicine. Number 1. 
how long to map the oceans. The waters of the world comprise a very large portion of our planet, well over 70%, which is just oceans for the most part. And as such, the desire to know all that is there in the oceans of our world is important to many. To that extent, many have used all sorts of technology to try and understand every inch of our world. But even with our very impressive technology, we've only mapped about 5% of our oceans. Now, technically speaking, we have mapped the entire ocean, but that's not exactly good quality. In fact, the resolution of this map is said to be so poor that you can't look at anything that isn't above 3 miles in size. That leaves a lot of things unseen, and that's the problem. Many authors and writers have noted that the underwater portion of our planet is basically another world. And they're not wrong in that belief, as the oceans are their own ecosystem full of life and wonder and structure. Underwater caves, new life forms we haven't even seen yet, old life forms we thought were extinct but maybe aren't, and massively deep trenches that boggle the mind. There's a lot down there we don't know about, and many are wondering when exactly we'll figure it all out. Until technology gets better and is able to handle everything the oceans can throw at them, the answer will remain unknown. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these anomalies of the ocean and waters of the world? Which one was the most intriguing to you? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.